Putting your vision in the form of a letter will help you shape your life. Remember that this is a letter to a friend, not a list of goals or bullet points of things you want. You're telling your friend the story of how you made your dreams come true and how it feels. Even the most analytical, left brain personality should be flooded with emotion after reading their vision. The next step is to read your vision every day for the next seven days. Reading it first thing in the morning seems to work best when your mind is fully fresh and fully rested. What will happen is you'll begin to think about your vision during the course of the day. The more days in a row you read it, the more often you'll find it popping into your head. And if you really want to get on the fast track, read it a second time right before you drift off to sleep. You know exactly what will happen. That's right. You'll start to dream about it. If you think about it from a scientific point of view, what you're doing is directing your mental energy toward what you want to accomplish. You're inundating your conscious and subconscious minds with the words and images you've chosen to concentrate on. While your competition is watching the latest reality TV show, you are systematically programming your brain with detailed directions of what you want for your future to look like. And since you've written your vision in the present tense, your subconscious mind thinks it's already happened because it doesn't have the ability to distinguish between fantasy and reality. That's why you get frightened at a scary movie. The subconscious sees the movie screen and thinks the threat is real. Your conscious mind overrides it, which is why you don't run out of the movie theater screaming. But the subconscious must accept the words and pictures you feed it. It's just a robot. When it comes to neurological processing abilities, the subconscious is millions of times more powerful than the conscious mind. It's like King Kong versus a mouse when it comes to directing and controlling our behaviors. I'll give you an example. One of the ways brain researchers measure the power of the conscious and subconscious minds is by their capacity to process environmental stimuli or anything we can experience through our senses. The conscious mind can process 40 stimuli per second. The subconscious mind can process 20 million stimuli per second. That's why you've always heard how important the subconscious mind is to success. All of this science adds up to one thing in the vision process. Reading your vision every day will get both your conscious and your subconscious minds working on achieving it even while you're asleep. Once you've read your vision for seven straight days, begin to notice how your mental energy is focused on it more and more every day. This is a phenomenon that will escalate as time goes on to the point where it's the first thing you think about when you wake up in the morning and the last thing you think about when you go to bed at night. After the first seven days, go back and do some more editing and be sure to remove any words that are fear-based. Your vision should be fear-free. Whatever you don't know how to do or accomplish in your vision will be revealed to you exactly when it should be. Believe in the process and focus on what you can control. The law of attraction will take care of the rest. Only words and images of love, abundance, and gratitude should be left after your second draft is complete. Continue reading your vision every day and update it at least once every 90 days or sooner if you wish. What you can expect to happen over time is the answers to the problems you must solve to manifest your vision will be revealed to you one by one and the behaviors you need to alter will change. At first you may believe it's just a coincidence that things that you've written about in your vision seem to be manifesting themselves on the physical plane one after another. Of course, what you're really experiencing are the laws of quantum physics taking over. You, in the words of a quantum physicist, are literally creating your own reality. After a while, any doubts you might have had will come to an end, and you'll find yourself preaching the gospel of vision to everyone who will listen. Well, I've done my part as your coach in teaching you the vision process that took me over 20 years to perfect. Now it's your turn. No excuses and no complaining. Just do the work and I'll see you in the winner's circle.